Welcome to the fifth and final part of getting started with Presetta Labs tutorials. Over the last videos, we have successfully installed and run Presetta Labs, went over the UI, built a transfer learning model from scratch, and trained, tested, and evaluated that model. The last step is to export the model to production or share it with your friends or teammates. Let me show you how that can be easily done. To deploy your model, all you need to do is to go over to this deploy view. In here, you can select which model you want to deploy and choose between a few different deployment options, with many more to come soon. You can choose to export it as a TensorFlow model. This way you can use it straight into your current deployment pipeline or as a fast API script, which lets you get up and serving really quickly. You can also deploy it as a Gradio app, which will open it in, as a app in a new tab in your browser. This is great for showcasing it to other people or just trying out your model on different data. Let's start looking at the TensorFlow model. It first, it first asks you where to save it. And then you can choose between off different options to optimize it, be it either to compress it or to quantize it. In this case, I'm just going to export the raw model. After you export it, you'll show up inside your folder that you choose to export it to. And we can see here how it's just a normal TensorFlow model, ready to use wherever you want. Going back, we can also look at the Gradio op option. Pressing this will first start up the Gradio app and then open it in the new tab. And here we have our model running. We can select some data. and submit it, and we'll get the label. In this case, it predicted correctly that the input was of label no. I'm not going to go through the fast API option right now, but if you're interested in looking into it, you can read more about it on our documentation page. This video concludes the series of getting started with Percepta Labs. I was very excited to walk you through the whole process. I hope you also had fun and saw the value of building models in a visual way. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more fun tutorials and use cases that we will be continuously publishing. Thank you for watching and as a reminder, if you have any questions, suggestions, issues or just want to get in touch, please visit our forum at forum.presetlabs.com or reach out to me directly at our Slack channel. Thank you!